Hello everybody, it's Pineapple Pat one here, and is this happening to you? <laughs> you might ask yourself, what exactly is happening here? And the answer is nothing. Nothing's happening here. It's not powering up, it's not doing anything. It's actually missing its startup files. If you need help with this, if your Mac won't start, and it's just being, you know, a piece of crap, and you want to reset it and be able to use it again, well, I can help you with that. Let's get into that. Now this has got to take a couple hours. If you're not ready to do it now and you don't have a couple hours to waste, wait till you get off work or something, and then do it then. Another thing... This is going to delete all of your photos and everything. It's going to restore it. It's going to restore everything. So if you have any sort of photos or anything important on here, I'd probably recommend installing it onto an external hard drive. Okay, so while powering on your Mac, you're going to want to press two buttons. If you're on a standard Mac keyboard, it's going to be Command R. And if you're on a Windows keyboard, it's going to be Windows button R. And I don't know if it's only me or if it's everybody, but for some reason, my wireless keyboard, for some reason, it doesn't work while trying to do it. So I use a wired keyboard. Key combo is going to take us to this screen. It's going to load for a bit, and then it's going to ask you for your Wi-Fi connection. For some reason, it doesn't work for Ethernet. I don't know if it works for other people. You could try it for Ethernet, but for some reason, you can't use an Ethernet cable. Now, if your house is completely run off of Ethernet cables... We got some nice names in here. This one's me. Okay, from here you're going to get this page. And now you can do one of many things from here. You can reinstall the operating system. You can restore it from a time machine. You can get help online. Or you can uh, repair or erase a disk. So, if you need to... You could possibly try to repair it if something's missing or anything like that. I just don't have anything. Mine's completely erased. I will show you how to erase it. You're going to click on a certain file. You could either click right here to repair it, and it'll try its best to repair it. I didn't have any uh, success with this in the past. I don't know, maybe you're missing a specific file. You know, like somehow a startup file got erased and it'll you know it'll search for it and it'll try and repair it but since I have nothing on here we are going to click on it and then we are going to press erase and then you're going to click Mac OS X extended journal that's what it's going to format it as and you're going to press erase since I don't have anything on here, I don't need anything. That's just my dog. Then you're going to create, you can create however many partitions you want. Currently, I have one. I don't need any more than one, although it is pretty hard. You can set a braid. You can try and restore it. If you don't have a fresh partition for your operating system to go, it's not going to have anywhere to go, and the disk is going to be locked, meaning you can't write to it. So you're going to need to erase it beforehand. And we are going to reinstall OS X. Continue. <laughs> Click on your... where you would like it. Depending on what it is, you might have several things here. Depending on how many hard drives or external hard drives you have. Put it on there, or multiple partitions. Now it's going to download. This could take a while. There's our time. We have 3 hours and 14 minutes remaining. Now that we're all done, we're just going to set up our Mac as new. Start my Mac.
good old mountain lion. Now from here, if you really wanted to, you could go to the app store and do Mavericks. I wasn't going to install Mavericks at first. I was going to wait for whatever this uh, this new operating system was going to be coming in a couple of weeks or months. I mean, Mountain Lion to Mavericks, it's not a big difference. There's no real big advantage. I was noticing the more and more apps that I wanted to use, the more and more apps that I couldn't use because they couldn't run on Mountain Lion and they had to run on Mavericks. It just doesn't understand it. It's like uh, you're speaking Chinese to an English person. It just, oh, I, oh, I don't know. Oh, oh. But yeah, I'm going to be installing Mavericks on my computer and I'm going to show you how to do it as well in another video that I'm going to link right to my forehead. If it's not there, I haven't done it yet, so stay tuned. Stay subscribed for the latest in tech videos and other types of videos as well. Leave me a like if this helped you out and you are now browsing your new Mac. Leave a comment if you're having some trouble. I know this could be a difficult process and I'm here to help. But uh, thank you for watching. Subscribe for the latest and I will see you later. Peace.